Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's take a look at the viscosity of gases. Well, here we have a set of fairly familiar gases to us, starting with air, and then we have the viscosity in micropascals times seconds. Now, be careful here, the, the symbol for viscosity and the symbol for micro, micro here meaning 10 to the minus 6, is exactly the same. In physics, we, we end up very often using the same symbol for different things. Here again, the viscosity, micropascals times seconds. Here it's at zero degrees centigrade, and there's a 27 degrees centigrade. And even though we don't have a lot of values here in this table, we have most of our values established at typically the temperature you'll find in laboratories, 27 degrees centigrade. If you take a look at the three that we do have, compare the numbers and notice that in this case, with gases, the viscosity increases with increasing temperature. With liquids, that's not the case. And with liquids, when the temperature increases, the viscosity tends to decrease. But with gases, it tends to increase. The reason for that is that higher temperatures, the molecules in the gas have higher kinetic energy. There are a lot more collisions, and therefore there's more impediment to the flow of the gases through pipes or through constrictions. And so you can see, therefore, that the viscosity will actually increase at higher temperatures compared to lower temperatures in gases. Again, remember that for water, liquids, for water, at 20 degrees centigrade, the viscosity in micropascals per second would be about 1,000. Notice how the viscosity of gases is much, much smaller than the viscosity of liquids. So that would be expected, I would suppose. And uh, also notice that there's not a lot of difference between the viscosity of gases. Most of the time, the differences are a result of the intermolecular forces between the molecules. If there's less attraction between the molecules, you would expect that you have lower viscosity. If there's more attraction between the molecules, you expect that there be higher viscosity. It would be more difficult to get the, the molecules to move through a, through a pipe. But nevertheless, there's not a lot of difference between the various gases. So you can see that it varies anywhere from, for hydrogen, uh, 9 micropascal seconds. And on the highest number we have here would be, uh, let's see here, that's, that would be the fifth one down would be xenon at 23.2. But even then, this is only a little bit more than twice the amount as it is for hydrogen. So gases are all about the same viscosity, very, very small. So it's very relatively easy to, to have gases flow through pipes, like natural gas being delivered to houses all over the cities. It's not that hard to push the gases through the pipes. It flows readily easy. There's not a lot of viscosity within those pipes when it comes to gases. And just a little insight into the various viscosities for liquids and gases, gases in this case.